The Arduino Uno provides two reference voltages as power supplies, a 3.3 volt pin right here and a 5 volt pin right here, which we've got connected to the rails on this breadboard. Now, those are nominal voltages. It would be interesting to see how they change depending on how we supply power to the Arduino. So to do that, I'll power on my multimeter and I want to measure DC volts and I'm interested in 5 and 3 volts roughly so the best resolution would be the 20 volt scale 2 volt scale wouldn't be big enough 200 volt scale wouldn't give me as much accuracy so I'll take the black lead from the common and I'll plug it into the ground potential so that's connected through this black wire here to the ground on the Arduino and to start off with, I'll connect the red lead to the plus 5 volt supply on this side of the breadboard. And I see 0 volts because there's no power applied to the Arduino. Now, if I plug it into my computer, I see a DC voltage that looks like almost spot on 5 volts. So 5 point zero 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 volts and it's oscillating in the last digit there. Now let's check the three volt supply. I get three point two nine two so very close to five volts and three point three volts as advertised. Now I'm going to take the USB cord out of the computer. I'm going to take this USB power supply. It's just a little wall wart with a USB plug in. I'm going to plug that into the USB adapter and plug it into the outlet over here. When I plug that in, I'm still getting 3.92 volts on the 3 volt side. So 3.292 and on the 5 volt side 5.159 5.159 So this USB supply actually provides a little bit more than 5 volts and the USB standard allows the voltage that comes out of that USB supply to range anywhere between 4.75 and 5.25 volts. So that's not so bad. Now I'll unplug the USB supply completely. I'm going to take this 9 volt DC adapter. I'll plug that into the wall and take the other end and plug it into the DC power supply for the Arduino. And I get a little bit more than 5 volts. 5.015 or 5.016. And if I now switch over to the 3 volt supply, I get 3.292. So let's have a look at these numbers. The 5 volt supply varied. It varied depending on what supply source we used for our 5 volts. The 3.3 volt supply that was regulated on board stayed constant. So if we really want to be sure of what voltage we're working with, the 3.3 volt voltage is probably the more accurate one to use. 